Hello everybody, this is Sirik 1983 and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, let's head up to the fourth floor. <laughs> oh, this floor. If you remember a few episodes ago I mentioned a, a certain battle that uh, could very well be the most difficult battle we've faced thus far. Yeah, it's on this floor. However, there has to be a certain condition that has to be met in order for it to happen, and which makes it very difficult. Hopefully, I don't know if I want to show you it or not. <laughs> yes, come on, man. Yeah, 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 set off the trap. Yeah, it's a negative energy trap in there. Alright, what do we got here? A gem, and... You know, they blew up the chest, or the desk, or whatever. Push the bless, and a note. The note is handwritten and dated from shortly before the events in the tower were likely to take place. It reads, Please inform the apprentices that they are no longer to dump their failed alchemical experiments into the sewer. One can only wonder how those potions affect the water under the city. The signature is indecipherable. <laughs> I guess that must be referring to the uh, <coughs> contrapulator. Rather interesting little bit of a backstory there. Ooh, journal of Artano Geth. This is the journal of a minor wizard in the Arcane Brotherhood, Artano Geth. His notes are sporadic and personal, detailing his dislike of certain tutors, his tribulations in learning certain magics, and his suspicions over Malgrim. His most recent entry is the one of greatest relevance. I should never have joined Romardo. The Archmage disappeared almost as soon as Mogram began his campaign in the tower, meaning we were left to fend for ourselves. None of us thought that the man's influence was spread so deeply, yet it was. After all the fighting was done, I found myself on the losing side, so now I must slave away with Romardo and these bloody golems. Today I finished work on the replication rod, though I surely shall receive no congratulations for it. When it is placed together with the control rod in the replication chamber, the magic start an automatic creation cycle. A golem is formed in a fraction of the time it would once have taken. It is powerful as well. I've told Remardo several, several times that we should be careful to retain control over these golems, lest they break through the magical barrier around the inner sanctum here. He doesn't heed my warnings, naturally. Bah! I would do anything not to have to slave away for that fool Mogram anymore. Whoa, a little dissension there. Well, I'll leave that book behind. Alright, um... Didn't I... Oh yeah, that's just the note. Alright, what do we got here? And there's the control rod. Another chest, and yeah, it's in that door there. But like I said, also this is one of the situ this is the situation where it's pretty much mandatory to have a little henchman with you. So let's uh, let's go get it. Yeah, we gotta get summon one of the golems. Yeah, control rod and replication rod. And there he is. Now, this guy, you have to summon him because he's the only way you can get through this door. So, let's, uh, get my potions ready here. I will need them. And let's, uh, go across the board. Okay, endurance, bless, barks again, strength, and the ghosts, invisibility, and potion of aid. Okay, is he in here? No, he's not in here. <laughs> if you have Romardo standing in this room, you're in for a hell of a fight. I would actually recommend you uh, save it before coming in this room. Aw, oh, crap, he is here. This could suck. On. Potions! Kill a Romardo. Holy Christ, man! Right, Golem is a pin. 
golem combined with Romardo is pain, pain, pain. Well, I'm out of the poison at least. Yes, alright, he surrendered, so let's uh, finish these guys off. As long as he's focused on the golem there, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm so glad this thing's so... Whoa! Oh, a little too close there. I keep my eye on the potions. <laughs> oh, he's decided not to surrender. Alright. <sighs> Made it. <laughs> Holy crap. <sighs> How many hit points was I from dying there? Wow, that was... I really thought I would have to re-record this after I got that close. Wow. But yes, you were actually supposed to talk to him. But obviously, uh... He was in the middle of everything, and yeah, let's read this note. This letter is written in a tight script addressed to Romardo. It reads as follows. The last war golem of your creation went berserk and killed almost an entire battalion of orcs. Needless to say, King Obold was not impressed. Ensure that the next three war golems that you delivered for the army are more stable, or the consequences shall be unpleasant, to say the least. It is signed by Mogram Archmage Arcane. Whoa. Sounds rather important. <laughs> Wow, that was a one hell of a battle, but we made it. And now we've got to go loot and all that fun stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love battles like that, just so epic. And I missed that bookshelf on the other side. Oh. Damn it. No. I'm probably going to have to go back to the Temple of Tears soon anyway. Go back now. You know what? Let's see what happens when I rest with the uh, this thing. Let's see what happens. Damn it, it's still there. All right. there let's see what the next floor is like. If I need to go back or not. Uh, where's the uh, Dalen's amulet? There it is. Yeah, I think I should go back anyway. Yeah, we'll see. <coughs> Alright, let's head to the fifth floor, I believe. Yes. Um... Yeah, let's go back. I'll be right back. I'll sell off my excess equipment as well. Alrighty, we're all sold off and lightened up, and I restocked on the Cure Critical Wounds potions, and... what else? Yeah, actually, I forgot I didn't sell off those other... Uh, uh, healing kits there, and yeah, all right. All right, uh, let's go up to the wooden door for it first. We got it around here. Besides another wizard. <laughs> it remains. Nice. There we go. 
and sapphire. Let's put this thing back with the other stuff. There we go. Yo. Blue. Gang rape. <laughs> You worship. This could take a while. Okay. I'm probably going to cut out most of this battle because this thing probably will take about five or ten minutes to kill. He's not difficult to face as long as you've got immunity to fear. Uh, it's just he's got one hell of a damage resistance and damage reduction, and yeah, he's like immune to other stuff as well. Yeah, he's immune to fire and all that stuff, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'll uh, keep hacking away at this guy for however long it takes to kill him. It is worth killing him, so I think you get like 180 experience or so, so I'll take care of that and I'll be back when he's dead. Holy crap, that took a long time. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much, unless you've got somebody that can really hit hard to be able to get over his uh, damage resistances, uh, or like me with a Q-Cree with a, uh, a high or a, a very wide uh, critical hit range. Uh, yeah, you're going to be there for a while, and you may not even be able to kill it unless you have that. So uh, keep that in mind before you try to face him. Man, there's another armor of comfort. Pray to whatever God you want. Yeah, we got more guys in here. As you saw, I had to use a potion of bolstering because it was taking too long. <laughs> I'd actually recommend doing that from the very beginning. <laughs> Who's that? Let's uh, make sure we got uh, nobody. Yeah, we've got another guy back there. Seventh floor. Nephithis. Alrighty. There's a wizard back here, so let's take care of him before we talk to her. Your cultist. Uh, That's what you get for wasting my time. Who is Nephithis? Well, I guess we'll have to talk to her next time. This is Eric, 1983, signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.